Hello, good day everyone. So now we are on the part two of our topic number two, which is about limits. So now we are going to discuss about one-sided limits, infinity or infinite limits, and asymptotes. So one-sided limits. So there are two types of one-sided limits. Now we, are, we have the right-hand limit of the function and the left-hand limit of a function. So, ma-distinguish na to na silang duha kung atong i-observe ang kining exponent dere no sa or kining sign sa upper right aning value ni a. So, kung na siya positive sign, it is the right hand limit. Tapos kung na siya negative sign, it is the left hand limit. So, the right hand limit of the function f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l. If we can make kining value sa ato ang function arbitrarily close to the value of l by taking x to be sufficiently close to the right of a. Okay? So that is the definition of the right-hand limit. While for the left-hand limit of the function f of x as x approaches to a equals m. So, if we can make the value of the function f of x arbitrarily close to l to m, actually m na ni siya, sorry. Wait lang. arbitrarily close to m by taking x to be sufficiently close to the left of a. So, for example, para mas masabda na to si one-sided limit, so naatay given ng mga conditions, no? The value of f of x, bali, is equal to x squared if x is lesser than or equal to 3, tapos 2x if x is greater than 3. So we are going to satisfy, satisfy those equations by taking into consideration kining value nga gina-approach ni x. So for example, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3. So right-hand limit man siya since positive man ang yung sign diri. Meaning values of x approaching to x to the right, so to the right man siya, so positive greater than 3 siya. So atong gamito na equation is x ang 2x, wait lang. Nice. So since x is greater than 3 man, so we are going the, to use the value of 2x. So substitute na to siya din ni, sa function. Now, we are going to substitute the value of 3 directly sa value aning variable na x. Then we have 2 times 3, which is now equal to 6. So same with the limit or the left-hand limit of f of x as x approaches to 3. So meaning from the left man siya, or dini man siya sa left side bali down ni 3. So now, sa Cartesian plane pa lang, atong itan ano, sa Cartesian plane. Ay, sorry, gabi kas 3 <laughs> lang. So, kung sa Cartesian plane pa lang, no, kini siya, positive man siya nga, positive man din ni, din ni mga negative, no. So, kung mo tanaw ganito, no, from the left daw of positive 3. So, meaning, lesser than 3 siya. So, we are going to use x squared. So, i-substitute lang nato din ni sa f of x. Then, we have the limit or the left-hand limit of f of x or x squared, as x approaches to 3, i-substitute lang din atong value ni 3. So 3 squared is now equal to 9. So the answer is 9. Okay? So another example, if f of x, let f of x be equal to x plus 1 if x is greater than 0, and x minus 1 if x is lesser than or equal to 0. So we are going to find the limits. So, igoro na to siya i-substitute class ang katuyahang condition. So, 
Pag tanap pa lang natin diri, ang ipangita is the limit of f of x. As x approaches to 0, right hand limit. So, positive man yung sign din ni. So, right hand limit man siya, gikan siya, ay padulong siya sa right or gikan siya sa right. So, atong i-unaw na, ang song condition diri, first, x plus 1 if x is greater than 0. Meaning, kini ato ang gamito, no? Greater than 0 man. So, the limit, ato din gamitin, kini nga function is substitute talo dahil na to. Okay. Tapos, isubstitute din nato si 0, direct, direct so din he, sa value ni x. Then we have 0 plus 1 is 1. Same with here, no? E nga na, nag-gap na itong procedure. Una, i-analyze na to kung asa ang yahang gina-approach ni x or ang value sa a no nga gina-approach ni x no so zero or left hand man na value or left hand limit man siya so dali siya sa kaon sa cartesian plane pa di ba mamon ni atong zero so left so dali siya sa mga negative so meaning lesser than zero so we are going to use x minus 1 then, i-substitute na natin value 0. So, the answer is negative 1. So, din he, ang yung limit of f of x, left hand ha. So, so coming from the left, ato then i-substitute. So, 1 is, dali daw, gikan daw sa left ni 1. So, 1 is greater than 0 man. No? Diri, check na to diri. Kung gisatisfy ba niya ni. 1 is greater than 0. So, therefore, we are using this equation, x plus 1. Then, substitute na nato ang value ani. 1 plus 1 is 2. Next one, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 1 from the right or right the right hand limit. So, ang atong gya pong gamitin is this equation. Tapos i-substitute lang tayo na ito. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, yun ana lang ang pag-evaluate sa right hand o left hand limit. First, i-check na yung conditions dere. Tapos, i-analyze din yung asa, aning duha, ang inyong gamiton. Pero magbase mo din ni sa iyahang value, no? Kung right hand ba siya or left hand. And then, yun din i-analyze, no? Since, dilita na ang right hand o left hand, kanang daritso ni mo ma substitute bitaw dapat i-analyze pa nimo pareha aning kaganina kining x approaches to 1 basin pagtanaw ninyo ah negative maning sign dere daritso to the left so daritso kining x minus 1 no ato pa siyang isatisfy no ato pa siyang isatisfy meaning x approaching to 1 man daw from the left meaning it is already greater than 0 so 1 is greater than 0 so, kani siya, i-test ni mo din hi. Tapos, mapili din ka ni, no? Kung masatisfy ni niya, ayat din ka makachoose asa ani ang imuhang igamiton as your function. So, a theorem, the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l if and only if, no? If and only if the limit of f of x or the right hand limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l and the limit, the left hand limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l. So this theorem is used to show that a limit does not exist. Kung i-check na to, no, kung DNE or does not exist ang imuhang, ang imuhang limit. So for the function f of x, x plus 1, if x is greater than 0, katong example na to earlier, kini siya, and f and x minus 1 if x is lesser than or equal to 0. So, ma-DNA siya kung ang atong i-direct o substitute kay 0, no? Kining first, kining A o B, since 1 o negative 1 is diliman equal, so DNA siya does not exist. But, kung ang yahang limit na itong gamiton is 1, ga-exist na siya since the limit of f of x as x approaches to 1 is equal to 2, tapos, Ang imong right hand o left hand limit as x approaches to 1 is equal to 2. Okay?
So, let's proceed with the limit theorems. So, katong gi-discuss na tong last week, katong definition of a limit, the epsilon, delta definition of a limit, tapos natay mga sample problems, no? So, nag-promise ko ito, nga ang yatag na ako sa inyo ha, is ang summary na dayon sa mga limit nga theorems. So, here is a summary of the limit theorems that we are going to use all throughout the the semester. So if C is any number or C is a constant, no, then the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to L and the limit of g of x as x approaches to a is equal to M, then maone ato ang ika-apply na mga properties. So the limit as x approaches to a, tapos ang imuhang function kay mag-add lang ka, f of x plus g of x, then katupod ang ilahang mga katong nasa yung right hand, igo isam rapod to ni mo sila. Tapos same with sa, sa subtraction, ang iyang function dari, aya ranin na to, by the way, aya ranin na to ma-apply ha, please check this. Aya ranin na to ni ma-apply ng mga theorems kung ang imong value dari where your x is approaching is equal. Kini ang pinaka-importante. Kung not equal gay na sila, then we are not, um, the, we cannot use these theorems. Okay? So we cannot combine those limits if dili sila equal o value nga gina-approach ni x. So same with, din hida yun, let's proceed with the multiplication. Igo, ragya po na to siya, ikapin na to no limit as x approaches to a, tapos katoday niya ang function, duha ka function is equal to katoday niya ang same katong left hand nilang duha ay multiply. Tapos, there is a division. Dinida yung constant rule man siya. So, the limit as x approaches to a, ang katong constant, bali, for example, any value, no? any number. Tapos, times, then yung isa ka function. Ang yung equals po na to, ang yung right hand, bali, ang yung right hand sa equation would be a constant multiplied by the limit. Okay? So then he, this would be your our power rule. Then kini constant rule, and the rest magamit po nato ni siya sa ato ang derivatives. No, kini mga limit theorems. Then he put gikan nato ang mga derivative rules. So the limit of x as x approaches to a is equal to l a. Sorry, guys, direct substitution naman siya. Then this one. The limit of x to the power of n as x approaches to a would be equal to a to the power of n since direct substitution man. Tapos this one, the limit of square root of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to the square root of l. No, noting that l is greater than zero. So examples using limit rule. So Number one, the limit as x approaches to 3 no, of x squared plus 1. So what we're going to do here is we are going to distribute the property kining sa limit. So is distribute na to siya kang x squared. Tapos distribute na to siya kang 1. So mahimo that we have limit as x limit of x squared as x approaches to 3. Tapos the limit of 1 as x approaches to 3. Dayon, i-apply dayon nato ni siya nga mga properties. So una, asa man natong gamito na properties ani? So we are going to use the power rule, no? Kini siya. So we have the limit of x as x approaches to 3 squared plus the limit of 1 as x approaches to 3. So i-na nato i-substitute natong value ni 3 then is a variable. So we have 3 squared plus 1. Since ang nadin hi, kung constant siya, since kini mo man yung rule, no? So constant rule. The limit, for example, the limit of a constant as x approaches to a is equal to the constant number. So 1. So the limit of 1 as x approaches to 3 is equal to 1. So 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay. So next one. So the limit of square root of 2x minus 1 over 3x plus 5 as x approaches to 1. So same with, sa to ang, same with the process we did in the first 
example, so we are going to distribute ang kining limit, no? Yeah. So first, i-distribute na to din he, sa rational na equation. So the limit, the square root of a limit of quantity 2x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 all over the limit of quantity 3x plus 5 as x approaches to 1. Dahil yun, i-distribute na sa nato ni siya kining property ni limit din he. So, 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 so the limit of 2x tapos the limit of negative 1 as x approaches to 1. Yung unana siya. Same with the recent denominator. So, distribute dia po na to siya. So, now we have square root of 2 limit x as x approaches to 1 minus limit 1 as x approaches to 1. All over 3 limit of x as x approaches to 1 plus limit of 5. Then we are going to use the properties of a limit. Then he... Kini kay constant rule ra. So, kini substitute ya po nato din he. Kini constant rule ra po. So, now we have square root of 2 times the limit of x as x approaches to 1. Meaning, substitute nato ni si 1. Kini, kini din he. So, we have 2 times 1 is 2. Tapos, the limit of 1. Gamitan natong constant rule ka kanina ya po. So, we have 1. Tapos, all over 3 times the limit of x as x approaches to 1, which is 1. So, 3 times 1 is 3. Tapos, the limit of 5, katong constant rule, ganina. So, the limit of 5, nasad ang yung constant. So, 5 dia ang yung ha? answer. So, 5. So, now we are going to simplify. So, square root of 2 minus 1 all over 3 plus 5. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Tapos 3 plus 5 is 8. So the answer is 1, 8. Okay. So next. So suppose the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 is equal to 4. And then the limit of g of x as x approaches to 3 is equal to negative 2. Find a the limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches to 3. So, sa ato pang giagian kaganina ng uh, limit theorems, we are going to distribute this. No? So, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3. Tapos, the limit of g of x as x approaches to 3. So, 4, 4 man yung equal ng limit, no? So, 4, tapos plus negative 2. Since na naman yung limit. So, therefore, 4 plus negative 2 is equal to 2. So, next one. The limit of f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 3. So, ang answer man niya is 4, no? Tapos, so we are going to substitute lang. So, we have 4 minus negative 2, which is equal to 6. So, next, the limit of 2 f of x minus g of x all over f of x times g of x as x approaches to 3. So, iguro na to substitute no? Ang kiniyahang limit. So, we have 2 times... 4 or 2 times the limit aning f of x. So 2 times 4 minus g of x which is equal to negative 2. So nara, negative 2. All over 4 since the value of f of x is 4 tapos negative 2 dayon the value of g of x. So simplify 2 times 4 is 6 minus negative 2 is equal to Ten. Tapos 4 times negative 2 is 8. So, i-simplify din na to. Negative 10 over 8 is equal to negative 5 fourths. Okay? So, now let's proceed with the indeterminate forms. In our first definition of a limit, no? nag-discuss ta about itong indefinite forms. So now, na po yung mga indefinite forms dere actually sa mga limit. But 
we are going to use the substitution method para ma-solve ya po na to ang mga indeterminate forms. No? We are going either to factor it out or rationalize the expressions. So for example, the limit as x plus 5 over x squared minus 25 as x approaches to negative 5. So when we are, if we are going to directly substitute the value of negative 5 here, so ang may mo ani, negative 5 plus 5, So, kung mag-negative 5 plus 5 ka, the answer is 0. Tapos, pag mag-negative 5 put ka din he, negative 5 put ka, squared, it is equal to 25 minus 25. So, may mo yapon siya o 0, no? So, it is in indeterminate form kung mo directly substitute ta. So, we are going to either factor it out or we are going to rationalize the expression. So, what we are going to do is i-factor out na to ang yahang denominator. So, now we have the limit as x, the limit of x plus 5 all over x minus 5 times x plus 5 as x approaches to negative 5. Okay, so pwede na ta maka simplify. So we are going to factor and then we are going to cancel this common factor. So x plus 5, pwede na na to ma cancel out si x plus 5 sa numerator and x plus 5 sa denominator. So now we have the limit of 1 over x minus 5 as x approaches to negative 5, which is equal to, i-substitute na to, ang value aning negative 5 here, sa tong given a function, so now we have 1 all over negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10, okay? So we have 1 over negative, ay, negative 1 10, okay? So, next example, the limit of quantity square root of x minus 3 all over x minus 9 as x approaches to 9. Notice that if we are going to substitute the value of 9 directly, we are going to have an indeterminate form na pod of a limit. No? So 0 since the square root of 9 is 3, tapos 3 minus 3 is 0, tapos... 9 minus 9 is 0. So we are going to rationalize that one. Multiply square quantity, square root of x plus 3, numerator and denominator. Then cancel out x minus 9 over x minus 9, square root of x plus 3. So we have the limit of quantity 1 over square root of x plus 3 as x approaches to 9. So 9, square root of 9 is 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So we have 1 over 6. So next example, the limit of x, 4 minus x squared all over 2x squared plus x cubed as x approaches to negative 3. So I simplify, I atog ya po ning i, atong i factor out, no? So we have 2 minus x tapos times 2 plus x. All over, common factor is x squared. So we have x squared times 2 plus x. So we can cancel this out. Okay, so we have 2 minus x over x squared. Then we are going to substitute the value of negative 2 sa tanan na x values, then we have 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4 all over negative 2 squared, which is positive 4. So we have 1. So the answer is 1. So now let's proceed with the infinite limits. So na gapon tay condition nga atong bantayan when evaluating infinite limits. So for all n, or kini yung exponent terreno, for all n greater than 0, the limit as x approaches to infinity of 1 over x to the power of n is equal to 
the limit as x approaches to negative infinity of 1 over x sub x to the power of n is equal to 0. So provided that 1 over x to the power of n is defined. So for example, the limit of 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 all over 2 minus 4x squared is equal to ato sa siyang e rationalize no atong e multiply sa highest power din which is x squared i sorry atong i divide sa yang highest power which is x squared or 1 kani ma 1 over x squared ato man siyang ikuana na i multiply na to na wait lang ako okay, ipakita so kini daw ang yang numerator and yang denominator multiply na to 1 over x sub n sorry Adam. Okay, so 3x squared divided by or multiplied by 1 over x squared. So we have 3. Next, 5x times 1 over x squared. So we have 5 over x plus 1 times 1 over x squared. So we have 1 over x squared. 2. So, numerator ni siya pag yung denominator ha, 1 over x. So, 2 divided by x squared. So, we have 2 over x squared. Negative 4. x squared over times 1 over x squared. So, we have negative 4. So, we divide it by x squared. Or multiply by 1 over xn. Same raman na sila, no? 1 over x sub n. So, ato da yung i-proceed o distribute ang limit. Same with our previous example. So, our final answer is negative 3 fourths. So, yung unani pag-solve ang infinite limits. No? I-mo siyang i-divide or i-mo siyang it divides ay ang highest power, no? Leading leading a coefficient, leading power ana nga polynomial, bale. So another example here: the limit of quantity two x cubed minus three x squared plus two all over x cubed minus x squared minus one hundred x plus one. So, same ra sa itong ibuat ka ganina, i-divide din sa highest na kanong exponent bali, you know, highest power ana na polynomial. So, din hi, x cubed man. So, everything din hi, ipang divide din yung ana. Okay? I-divide, ang doon man na siya, no? equal or manggo na siya. Kung mo-divide ka na or mag-multiply lang ka 1 over that Exponent, do no? kanang variable bali. So the final answer here is two. So then here we have other examples. Also, you can check in these examples and try it on your own. So by the way, one over infinity or 1 over positive infinity is equal to 0 since ang 1, i-divide na to sa isa ka large number, for example, 1 trillion, it is, or its value is approaching to 0. So the answer is 0. So for infinite limits, na tay condition nga apply no? So for all n is greater than 0, the limit, or the right-hand limit as x approaches to a, of 1 over x minus a to the power of n is equal to positive. Tapos, negative na siya sa negative na siya sa yahang left hand limit kung n is even. Tapos kung n is odd or katong yahang exponent is odd is, uh, uh, is odd may mo siya negative infinity or approaching to negative infinity. So, Mo ni ang examples. So, 
Kung na kay right hand limit, no right hand limit kung ang n, n right hand limit. So, diretso na ta positive infinity ani, eh. substitute na to is positive infinity. So, 3 times a 3 plus positive infinity plus positive infinity all over 2. So, the answer is positive infinity. So, kini the limit the right hand limit of x as x approaches to negative 3. So, the answer is negative infinity. Since the sign aninia is negative 3 man, tapos diretso na nato ay substitute, no? Since n is even. Ay, sorry. Since kini man ang ma-apply, kini man na uh, equation yapon So, positive infinity. times negative maning up, gina approach na value so the answer is negative infinity so the limit of trigonal functions this graph is a function of sine x tapos this graph is showing the cosine na function we conclude that they are continuous everywhere tapos the limit of sine x as x approaches to c is equal to sine c and the limit of cosine x as x approaches to c, since this c is a constant, so it is equal to cosine c. And kini mo mani ang graph ni tangent, and this is the graph of a second. And here are examples sa mga limit theorems, in, in including sa trigo na mga function. So, just try this one. And then, actually, lakbayan lang kayo natin yung si tangent and second and cosine and kining mga trigo bali. Since we are going to discuss more of that sa next pa na nga mga topics. So, kinigipakita lang no, ang mga limits as it is approaching to infinity. Kay Related mong guni siya sa asymptotes. So, kining asymptotes are vertical or horizontal na sila, no? It is a ver vertical or horizontal line which dili gina siya mag-touch. Dili gina siya mag-touch at dong imuhang curve. Okay? Wait lang.
So, mauni na na tay horizontal and vertical asymptote. So the line y is equal to a, the line y is equal to l is called a horizontal asymptote. Katong mo touch sa yung sa yung limit of the curve y is equal to f of x. If the limit of f of x as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to l, or the limit of f of x as x approaches to negative infinity is equal to l. So the line C, the line x is equal to c is called a vertical asymptote of the curve y is equal to f of x if the limit of f of x as x approaches to a constant value you know, from the left or the left hand limit or is equal to positive or negative infinity or the limit of a function as x approaches to a constant value from the right, uh, to, to the right bali ang yan ang right hand na function na right hand na limit is equal to positive or negative infinity so ang asymptotes no i recall lang yun nato nga dili na siya magtouch yun sa ato ang they are getting closer and closer but never touches touches to our curve okay so the for example f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus 1 so the limit kung yang left hand limit is equal to negative infinity therefore the line x is equal to 1 is a vertical asymptote since nag satisfy siya sa ato ang giingon nga mga theorems earlier next is the limit of f of x as x approaches to negative 1 left hand limit ni siya is equal to positive infinity. Therefore, the line x is equal to negative 1. Balikin siya. No? X is equal to negative 1 is a vertical na asymptote. Tapos, the limit of f of x as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to 1. So, therefore, y is equal to 1. Kinisha is a horizontal asymptote. So next one, the limit of f of x and the, and the sorry f of x is equal to x minus one over x squared minus one. So mana tong function no? So the limit of that function as x approaches to one is equal to the limit of x minus one over x squared minus one as x approaches to one. So atong is substitute or atong e evaluate a limit. So, atong gamitan atong factorization, no? So, if factor nato si x squared minus 1, we have x minus 1 times x plus 1. Tapos, cancel out ni si x minus 1. So, we have 1 over x plus 1. I substitute na nato ang value sa given, no? Kining x approaching to 1. So, 1 over 1 plus 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, we have 1 over 2 or 1 half. Therefore, the line x is equal to 1 is not a vertical asymptote. This one, no? Dili siya vertical asymptote. Since ato ang property nga, ga istoryahan ka ganina, dapat either positive infinity or negative infinity ang yahang answer, no? Okay. So, next one, the limit of f of x as x approaches to negative 1, right hand limit is equal to positive infinity. So therefore, the line x is equal to negative 1, this one, is a vertical asymptote. Next, the limit of f of x as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to 0. Therefore, the line y is equal to 0, can it? Is, is a horizontal asymptote. So that's all for our discussion for today. And then I already posted an assignment, assignment number two. So Google Classroom, I hope you would answer it and submit it on Wednesday. Tapos, make sure you use the same format sa assignment number one, no? na ID tapos signature. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.